feeling crazy right now. Wendy, this video's for you. Unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Daddy. Didn't watch the movie this morning. Didn't watch the show, I'm sorry, this morning. Um, but he watched it this evening. Very upset, very disappointed, naturally. Really, this shouldn't be happening. It's crazy right now. It's absolutely crazy. I ask you one question. Why didn't you go to the funeral? Why couldn't you call daddy and let him know why? Why couldn't you, if it was that serious, if it was that much of a stance, then, then what was the problem? I was there when you came in on that night of the, 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 the dawning of the wake. And um, you told us, you told daddy that you had to race back to New York, handle business. You were only gonna be in town for the viewing. We didn't even know. He didn't even know. I mean, it doesn't matter if I knew or not. Your father didn't even know that you were in town for the for the funeral. And you're out eating lunch with with your ex and, and your son. Which wouldn't be a problem, I guess. I I guess. If you had told your father that or or I mean, he was hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt, Wendy. That's why I'm here right now. Because it's not fair. It's not right. It's painful. It's painful for him. It's painful for me. It's painful for the family. We have a small family. Fragmented because of this. Because I've put my foot all the way in it. And I'm going to twist it. And I'm going to keep it in there. You could call me out. You could say whatever you want about me, Wendy. It's not about that. Right? I'm married 21 years. You were married 21 years. Right? It's not about Kevin. Kevin came to the viewing. I thought that was great. Thanked him. Thought it was wonderful. Showed his admiration and his love for mommy. That night was... That night was special. Memorable. Fond memories. Mommy's still here all the time. I'm sure she doesn't understand, Wendy, why you didn't come to her funeral. Why'd you have to lie to daddy and tell him that you were going to be back in New York and you were here? It's not right. And you have us holding him up. You have him asking me questions I don't know the answers to. He wants to know. He doesn't understand. There's an emptiness because of you. Because of your selfishness. Mental health, I get it. Grief, I get it. I'm grieving too. I love you. I do. I'm concerned, yes. Have I tried reaching out numerous times? You hang up. You don't call back. I'm not calling for me. I'm calling for daddy. Like, this isn't right. And you just leave things just going, just let it go, whatever. That's not good. That's not fair. I'm doing what I need to do with daddy all the time. Whenever I get a moment, I'm with that guy. Love him to death. Mommy wants us to stay strong as a family. That's all mommy and daddy wanted us to do. Wasn't much to ask. What are you doing? Like, why aren't you fostering the importance of family, even to your son? We went to our grandparents or our grand grandfather's funeral and great grandmother. Why? Why do you have to? I mean, why? Why lunch? Why my videos? And then you're gonna say you don't know anything about them. You, you, you know, come on, man. That's not good. You call me and you talk to me about the videos. Now, I'm not going to go back and forth with you, Wendy, over the nonsense because it's just that doesn't make sense. The main thing that I'm asking you, Wendy, is please, please tell daddy why you didn't attend the funeral. And take responsibility for what you've done, the pain you're causing. 
and pick up the phone when he calls. I love you. And I'll always be here for you. And as I deal with this pandemic, just like everybody else on this planet, I'll always leave a light on for you. Because it's just about a conversation and I wish one day we could sit down or you could sit down with your father and explain some things. Because I think he, he, he has the right to know. I love our family and I love you. And I'll always wish you the best. And I'm not trying to step in the way of anything that you're doing. But I think that to have mommy gone and to move on like nothing's happened and for you not to address this situation or address not going to your mother's funeral to your father, I think that's a travesty. I love my family. I'm forced to love one. Do you know that... Do you know that I have better feelings for my ex-husband, Kevin, than I do for my own brother? Oh, oh, now, you know that's saying oh, something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good morning, Kevin. I'm just saying. Yes. Mm. But based on what you all have read, clap if you're with me. Yeah. Don't you start Googling him until after this show is over, okay? <laughs> But he's all over. He's got a blog for this and a blog for that. And then one where he needs Jesus, you know, he, he goes all kumbaya and then goes back to the, the hot grease and the coughing and the spitting and the arguing with people and talking about me. There is nothing you could say about me that either I haven't already said in my 35 plus years that you've been jealous of holding this microphone or or that you won't find out the rest in full totality on January 30th on my You don't expect your family to be your enemy. My, my family now is, my, Daddy, calm down. You've known these feelings. He's the one who pushed the button. 